one one of the one of the key things I think, and this is a personal uh, hack that I, I trumpet a lot in the course, and I think the students really resonate with, is being able to being able to time cognition correctly. And so it's this little thing I call the focus fortress. And so you can really screw up your prime cognitive bandwidth for your day if you don't know what your rhythm is and you haven't yet identified when you think the best. These are, these are windows that are really dependent on a lot of different factors. And so if you're more of an, uh, a morning person, for example, a lark, then the, typically the hours between eight and noon are gonna be your peak, big, challenging, hard question answering time to work on these big scope problems. Then you'll wanna like dice in, um, you know, time to meditate, time to recuperate, um, time to do social meetings because it's a different part of your cognition. So you don't want to overlap that really with your sweet spot on your on your on your cognition. Um, and you can also do low level administrative stuff. You don't want to crowd that out with your peak cognition. You want to be able to do your really big projects during then. So I teach them how to like identify when that might be. Let's do your let's get your chronotype. Let's see what that is and then experiment with it. And you'll notice that consistently, if you really tap into this, and it's, it's, it's challenging, but if you tap into it, um, you can do you know, two days work and four hours. If it's just that uninterrupted, pure time to, to do high level work. So that's one, a few examples. One of the primary challenges as a socially gregarious species, homo sapiens are reliant on, so, on social interaction. And so um, this period of self-enforced isolation has definitely been one where you can see the effects of, of isolation and, and how it affects wellness, human wellness. So in fact, this is one element of the candlelight challenge that I, I, like to, uh, I like to keep in everyone's mind, and that's about vices. So any, it is kind of, kind of like, you can talk about a lot of different vices, whether it's smoking, whether it's drinking, um, or playing video games. Video gamers are some of the worst sleeping cohorts on the planet because they're doing all, all the bad things. They're sitting in front of an LCD screen that's bombarding them with blue wave light. Uh, you, typically the prime time social gaming hours are late at night. So they're pumping their, their neuroendocrine systems with like acetylcholine and like, uh, you know, their stress response because they're typically doing this in a competitive context. And so if you think as a gamer, you're just gonna be able to turn off your, your PC or your PlayStation or your Xbox and then go straight to sleep, you're, you know, that's, that's, you're setting yourself up for disaster essentially. So what I'm, all I'm trying to do is help as a gamer, I'm trying to help people figure out, okay, you don't have to necessarily cut out the vice or whatever, the, the thing that you enjoy doing, time it right. And, and typically, you know, like for example, if you're gonna have drinks with your friends, Doing it during the day when your body is primed, it is upregulated, you know, your insulin is on its peak rhythm, when it can handle this level of disruption versus say doing it literally hours before you go to bed. These are fundamentally different effects on your body's physiology and its ability to cope. So it's all about just timing. Just double down on thinking about when you time certain activities, including exercise, right? Um, you don't wanna to exercise too close to bed, but you also get, to, for the average human, Peak, um, uh, peak physical activity is typically around 5 to 6 p.m. So uh, you want to you be co just conscious of how, you, of how you map this out. And you know, sometimes students get stressed out because it's like, oh God, I gotta, I gotta live by this super schedule, right? I have to have everything mapped out. And the way I think, I don't think of it like that. I think of it as, as almost seasons, right? Like boom bus cycles where there are times, like say during the semester, right? You gotta buckle down. You, you need it. You need a 4.0 this semester, or whatever, to get to get whatever goal that you want. You you nail the circadian rhythm during that time, and then after that, dedicate a period of time where you are just you're 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 not what you're free running. Don't worry about the rhythm. Don't worry about your sleep. Shore up those social alliances. You got to have that too as part of human wellness. You gotta you gotta you gotta have your friends and and have your strong network. So um, it's not a you're not essentially like. A, just a, a rat following a pattern. Think of it as like, this is a mode and I can turn it on and I can turn it off at will.